I spoke on my strategy uh, for cyber security across uh, the Victorian public health sector and um, aligning it with digital health maturity and specifically um, a number of initiatives that I've done um, which in effect increase the ability of the hospitals to um, respond and recover uh, to a uh, cyber attack. It's really relevant because um, <laughs> if an EMR goes down that's a really, really bad day for a clinician. Um, mainly because the, the reliance on digital now is just, um, it's so important to be able to actually make those, uh, those decisions in a really timely manner. Um, so if that system's not there, that access um, isn't there either, and so the data's not there. Um, and not only that, it actually takes a very, very long time to uh, respond and actually recover from these cyber attacks. So, the idea of resiliency is that you're able to bounce back very quickly um, from anything, cyber attack or otherwise. So you know that a cyber attack is going to happen, you just got to be able to prepare for them, actually, you know, they're coming. Um, you just got to be able to detect them quickly and then respond and then recover as fast as you possibly can. Because um, whilst there's no, um, at the moment, there's been no cyber incident that's attributed to a patient death um, across the world, uh, or even perhaps patient harm, it's going to happen, or it already has happened but just hasn't been reported yet. Um, we don't ever want to get to that stage, um, but it is going to happen unfortunately. So that reliance on data right now, from a clinician's perspective, to be able to actually make those rapid decisions, yeah, it, uh, cybersphere is not going to help the patient in terms of those decisions, it just maintains the, the ability of the clinician to make those decisions.